Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm here with a Hall of Fame game for you, Atlanta versus San Diego. It'll be the Atlanta Braves logo and modern day look against the, um, against the, um, let's see. Against the Braves, but, um, there's going to be Hall of Famers playing for the team, which is kind of cool in uh, uh, Major League Baseball, the show, Major League Baseball 19, the show. So it's kind of cool. Um, and uh, Pud Galvin is on the mound for the, for the Braves. Pud Galvin had a career record of 365 and 310 and uh, a 285 earned run average with a 119 whip lifetime. He pitched back in the day, like way back in the day, like the 18, 1890s, early 1900s. And uh, he's going to be facing, uh, I think this is Lou Brock. Yeah, let me turn the sound up a little bit because the announcer will uh, be announcing things. But, uh, yeah, kind of cool. So, yeah, this is Lou Brock. And, of course, Lou Brock is famous for, you know, he was the stolen base leader all time until Ricky Henderson broke his record. And, by the way, the way um, Pud Gelvin looks here, um, you know, the his face and everything, that's exactly, I mean, it's, Pretty close to how he really looked, which is kind of cool too. So, we're going to do a little bit of announcing here and let um, let you see, you know, who's on these rosters and who's in these lineups. Um, I'm not going to televise the entire game because, like, the entire game is an hour and forty minutes or something. So we're, you know, I don't want to have a video run that long, but. It is kind of cool. It's kind of cool to imagine how the uh, the guys from back in the day would have been playing for modern day teams. And that's going to be a pop out for Brock. I got my Atlanta Braves hat on. I happen to have an Atlanta Braves hat, so I put that on since this is Atlanta versus San Diego. And there you can see the lineup, Pete Rose, Mickey Mantle, Roger Connor, Mel Ott, Jose Reyes. Now, I don't know what R Jose Reyes is doing on a uh, an all-star like um, team like this, but, you know, you see that every once in a while, though. They have a guy, like a more modern-day guy, is mixed in, even though he's not close to being even, you know, let alone a Hall of Famer, but he's not even really like a lifetime All-Star, which Jose Reyes is not. And then you saw that Biz Mackey was in there. He was, uh, I think, uh, played in the Negro Leagues back in the day, so... This is kind of cool, you know. I got this off of, by the way, I want to tell everyone, I got this off the Joel Gunn um, uh, YouTube channel. Uh, he puts games up like this all the time. And I highly recommend you go check it out because this is, I, I love it. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I love baseball history. And I love imagining what it would be like to see these guys like, you know, for instance, right here, Pete Rose facing Pud Galvin would have been an interesting thing to see. So, yeah, it's on the Joel Gunn uh, YouTube channel, and I will leave a link to his channel in the description. Because, um, I mean, he's got any number of games over there. I think what he's doing is he, he takes the San Diego Padres, this version of the San Diego Padres, through a season. And, uh, you know, um, compiles the stats for them and everything. So Rose flies out, looks like there. Um, and he's got it raining, too. 
I mean, and and I think he controls the weather, so I don't know why you would have a raining day. But here, here you go, Mickey Mantle, Mickey Mantle on the San Diego Padres, hitting three twenty seven uh, in this guy's season that he has him playing. So, Pud Galvin, gotta love it. And I love this MLB 19, the show. It's like, you know, this, the people in the stands, the level of detail they have is incredible for this. Mickey Mantle. And he looks like he's going to rip a double off the wall. The Mick. I'm not sure how much that really looks like Mickey Mantle, but some some of the faces they do a really good job with, and then some of them it's just like a you know like a stock face almost. I think this is who Rod is. This Roger Connor. Yeah, I, I think it is Roger Connor. And again, this guy, this uh, face of this guy at the plate looks kind of like Roger Connor. I mean, it helps that they put a mustache on him, like one of those old time must handlebar mustaches that they would have had back in the day. It looks like they walked Roger Connor. Melot, catcher from back in the day. Forget who he played for, maybe the Giants? I'm not sure. From uh, what I understand, talking to the guy who does these on his channel, um, he doesn't have uh, he doesn't have the computer controllers, so he doesn't he doesn't control the players himself. He doesn't control the gameplay. He lets the computer control the teams, and he kind of plays it in the background while he does other stuff, uh, which is still kind of cool. I mean, you know. I mean, that's how I'd probably do it. That's how I would rather do it. And then you got Dazzy Vance. Dazzy Vance is pitching for San Diego. Dazzy Vance had a record of 197 and 140 lifetime with a 324 earned run average and a 123 whip. And that also does kind of look like Dazzy Vance. And now you got Pop Lloyd. Pop Lloyd is probably, I'm going to guess he was a Negro Leaguer.
I don't know what's going on here, what the debate's about. The umpire is fishing with his bat. What is that all about? Roger Connor's like, what's going on over there? And also, it's kind of cool how they use, like, the real coaches and stuff. Like, that's I think that's Eric Young that he's talking to, who is actually the first base coach for the real Atlanta Braves. Or was last year. You know, who knows if it is going to be like that this year. But, but, yeah, he's over there talking to Eric Young. What are they doing? What is this, like a rain delay? Hmm. All right, we're back, and I think it looks like they're ready to, well, no, maybe not quite. All right, so now the action is resumed. I don't know what the big thing was that they were delayed and showing players walking around and not doing anything. I don't know what that was all about, but now they're back to the game action. Pop Lloyd's out. So there's their lineup. Pop Lloyd. Damian Easley. Again, I don't know what Damian Easley is doing in with this, this group of guys. Albert Pujols. Johan Moncada. All right. My man. Johan Moncada's in there. I mean, who knows if he's going to be like a lifetime all-star or hall of famer but he's off to a pretty good career uh career start in fact uh last year was last year was a bust out year for Moncada, so it's, I'm hoping, as a White Sox fan, I'm definitely hoping to see more of those. Ah, hit it on the ground. Screamer right past the first baseman. Wait. Is Mickey Mantle on both teams? I think he is. Well, that's some that's some crazy stuff right there. I saw him in the lineup and I was like, wait a minute, isn't Mickey Mantle on San Diego? It'd be great if Mickey Mantle flew out to Mickey Mantle. And this one is, this Mickey Mantle's number seven, and the one for the Padres is number eight. That's crazy. 
I mean, you would think if you would set up a, uh, a league like this that you would not have repeat players on different teams. I hate when that happens to me when I do my Stratomatic leagues. I'll pull guys from all kinds of different um, teams from different leagues and different eras, and once in a while I end up with the same guy is on two, two or, well, usually it's not three, but, but two different teams. Willard Brown. I'm guessing he was probably a Negro leaguer. I've never heard of him. Right up through the box, base hit. Runners at first and second. Dolph Camilli. I think he played for the Pirates. I want to say he played for the Pirates. Again, back in like the 1920s. I could be wrong, of course, but. Looks like that'll be a fly out. And that's the side. End of the first, nothing, nothing. And there he is, Jose Reyes, all-star that he is. Looks like Jose Reyes. I mean, I suppose if they picked, like, he did have some very good years. So I suppose if they picked one of the years where he was, had one of his better years, then, you know, maybe he belongs in with this crew, but I'm still not so sure. Just barely got him. So there you go, defensively, Dolph Camilli at first. Damian Easley at second, yeah. Again, don't know what he's doing there, but. And Rick Farrell behind the plate. And here's Biz Mackey.
fly out to left. Jose El Tuve. I mean, I can't really say he doesn't belong in this, with these guys. And that does look like El Tuve. I don't know if he has a beard like that. Does he? Yeah, I guess he does. Of course, now they need somebody to bang on a garbage can. I think the real L2 way would have swung at that. And some of these guys, too, the stances for the batters are their real, it looks like that's pretty much what his real stance is. I mean, I don't know much about the MLB, whatever, the series, the show series. So maybe they do that. Maybe that's a thing that they do. I don't know. You know, just uh, it's just interesting that it it does look like his batting stance. Struck out L2. He's got some words for Galvin. That guy looks like Nosferatu. Is this Pujol? I was going to say, is this Pujol? <laughs> Let's see. I mean, he's got a, a distinctive. Uh, batting stance. Looks kind of like him when he was younger. And although Pujols is still playing, I think it's apparent that when he does retire, five years after he retires, he's going to the Hall of Fame. Hopefully he can have a little better year than he's, than he's had lately. Hope he can re... re uh, Recapture some of his youth. And Johan Moncada's on deck. Yes. Three, two count. Struck him out. And there you can see their defensive alignment. Mickey Mantle on both teams.
Pete Rose, the all-time hit leader. Johan Moncada. Kind of looks like his stance. That was a nice curve. Rick Farrell. Not sure who he played for. Maybe the Indians? I want to say the Indians. And that's going to be a tough play for Rose, but he makes it. And that's the end of the second. And there's Desi Vance. Bottom of the lineup for San Diego. Can even see the sweat on, on Pud Galvin's neck. Great stuff. The well, the sweat or the rain, and or the rain. Did he get a hit? No. So we're back. We're going uh, headed here to the uh, top of the fourth. Mickey Mantle up for the the. San Diego Mickey Mantle is up.
score are still 0-0 zero, zero here. And he did he walk? No, no, he's got a one two count on him. And he was playing a deep, you know, well, a, either a deep second or a very shallow right. And they got him. Roger Connor again, who had a 316 lifetime batting average and 138 home, lifetime home runs with an 883 OPS. Hmm. Fouled out to the catcher. Mel out with two down. You got got the shift down from Mel out. As it probably was for Mantle. Nope. Deep flying, that might be it. Yeah, that's it for San Diego. Now we go to the bottom of the fourth. Still nothing, nothing. All right, well, we're back, and uh, this is the second batter of the top of the fourth inning for the Padres. Mantle got out. Or no, actually, I guess this is Mantle. Yeah, there's, he's not out yet. All right. Wasn't sure I... Wasn't sure where I picked up, so uh, but Galvin's still out there. And he is out. So now, now he is out. Oh, hold on. I think I did this. All right. Hold on. I'm going to move, move ahead. I think we already did the top of the fourth. 
There you go. All right, little confusion there. I wasn't sure where I left off before, so. So now we got the Braves batting in the bottom of the fourth, still 0-0. Zero, zero. Vance still on the mound for San Diego. And the other mantle up. I think I said that before, right? Or maybe I didn't. I don't know. Or maybe it was in another inning. So... That mantle walks, the Atlanta mantle. And now Willard Brown is up. He got a base hit, so they Atlanta has a little a bit of a. They're mounting a, mounting a charge here. Two runners on, no outs. Meeting at the mound. And this is who? Camilli. Yeah, Dolph Camilli. And he strikes out. But Vance, not out of trouble yet. Did they turn a double play there? No, I, I don't know. I don't think they got. I think they only got the runner at first. Yep. Yeah. So runners at second and third. And uh, two out. And Yoan Moncada up. You're going to walk him? Yeah, it looks like they're going to walk him. So now it's going to be bases loaded two outs and Rick Farrell up. Ooh, first baseman couldn't get it. Two run score on that. Little base knock for Rick Farrell, who's pretty happy about it. I don't I don't know if that was an error. Really gotta think Roger Connor should have had that.
or is it Roger? Or is Roger Connor on Atlanta? No, I don't think he's on Atlanta. I think he is on San Diego. So yeah, that was Roger Connor. And that's going to be another base hit, at least another run. Pud Galvin. Helping his own cause here. Pop Lloyd. Runners at the corners, two out, two down here in the fourth. Did he get that? Yeah, I guess he came up with that. Or, yeah. Yeah, he did. All right, well, we're moving ahead now to the top of the ninth with the Braves winning 3 nothing. San Diego coming to bat in the top of the ninth. With Pete Rose. And Galvin's still out there. Of course, back in his day, everybody pretty much pitched a complete game. And now the San Diego Mickey Vandal is up. Two for three. The San Diego Mickey Mantle's two for three. I wonder what the Atlanta Mickey Mantle was. No, two uh, two down now. And Roger Connor, there he is. Hitting 248 in this guy's league. But you got to imagine it's, you know, it's a Hall of Fame league, so he's probably facing a lot better pitching than he did in real life back in the 1890s or whatever it was that he played.
On deck, my lot. Three one count on, on Connor. Yeah, outside. Roger Connor walks. Keeping uh, keeping San Diego's hopes alive here. Yeah, they got somebody warming up in the pen. Looks like that might, yeah, that's a hit. That falls in. So runners at the corners now. Let's see if they go to the bullpen. They got somebody warming up, so. Jose Reyes. They're going to let him come up and hit. Team of Hall of Famers. You would think that there's got to be a better hitter on the bench than Jose Reyes. Looks like they'll stick with Galvin, though. Hundred and twenty three pitches now for Galvin. That's pretty brutal. No, not really. In fact, hundred and twenty three pitches shouldn't even be brutal for today's pitchers. It shouldn't be. Looks like he laces the base hit. That'll drive in a run. And runners are at first and second. So 3 1 now. And that looks like it's going to be it for Galvin. So we'll see who the Braves bring in now. Billy O'Dell. And that brings up Honus Wagner to pinch hit. Honus Wagner, who didn't start over Jose Reyes. Or, well, maybe, no, Jose Reyes. Yeah, Wagner's a third baseman, not a shortstop. Although he probably could have, he probably did play shortstop and could play shortstop. He was he was third baseman, right? Honus Wagner. No, maybe he was a shortstop. 
I don't know. But if he was, he should have been playing over Reyes, for sure. No, I'm thinking of Pie Trainer. So I think, yeah, I think I think uh, Honus Wagner was a shortstop. And that's it. That's the game, folks. That's all she wrote.